Hi, today I'm going to give you a guide around my own personal everyday ride bike and some of the equipment I use on, on my everyday rides, whether that be commuting or training. Today we're going to start with the bike. It's a 2015 Giant Defy Zero in a medium frame. Uh, I'll give you a quick run through the specs. It's pretty much as it came out of the factory, uh, even though it's a couple of years old. I have seen no reason to change anything so far, or very little. The, we have a Shimano 105 front derailleur. We've got a Shimano Ultegra rear derailleur. Now, the gearing on the front is a 5336, and on the back we have an 1132. So, it's certainly got the gears that I need. I've had no problems with it whatsoever so far. Um, We've got the the brakes themselves and the shifters are Ultegra. Uh, again, they've been fantastic. I've had no problems whatsoever. We've we've got the giant Pro, performance Pro saddle sitting on top of the defuse composite um, seat post. The wheel set is the as you can see is the PR2 wheel set. We've got uh, 24 foot spokes on the front and 28 on the rear. They have been pretty much bulletproof so far. Uh, I've had one major, in, I've hit one major pothole and blew a spoke, but that was it. As I say, I've had this bike getting on two years now. It is the 2015 model. It, I've had very little incidents with it. The frame is the Alux frame. It's good, it's solid. Again, no major problems. Uh, I'm running a tax cadence sensor, uh, the Garmin Edge 520 cycle computer. I'll do a, a review on that, a personal review on that. I know there's many on the market, but we'll do a review. Now, the action camera I use is the EE action camera. Uh, I will do a full review on that as well in comparison with a couple of other cameras that Tony and Andy are using. We'll see how we feel about image quality and use usability. I've replaced the bar tape with physique tape. I'll be honest, I went for the colour as much as anything. I just thought it, it went nice with the bike. Um, it's, you know, it's about looks. That's pretty much... The, the, the bike i mean the major complaint you'll hear of people will be about the, the seat post it is the d post it does make substituting it to a different seat post difficult but then again it does i believe it's 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 comfortable it's got a good range it's a 50 centimeter tube it's got a good good range of height on it now my other equipment i use i use the giro monza helmet it's got the rock lock um it's got the rock lock cage in it. It's fantastic. Um, I can certainly do a, a discussion on that at a later date. It's I've had no problems with that. Again, that's a 2015 model, I believe. It's comfortable. It's not the lightest helmet in the world, but I do feel it's comfortable. I mean, mine actually weighs in. I, I weighed it this morning. It was 343 grams. Um, the Bont A2 shoes I use, they are fully heat moldable they obviously for me they have the spd sl cleats on i like to ride with the sl uh, pedals i've got shimano ones on here we will be doing a full a full video on the different types of pedals and cleats available we have had a request about that we're going to cover that and the glasses i've done a review on these already a basic review these are the gear gain glasses i i'm using them a lot more i'm using them for all my daily rides just to see if they are, if they continue to be as comfortable as they have been so far. They are fully vented and the polarization for the sun is brilliant so far. The bike overall weighs in at 8.84 kilos. Not a lightweight bike by any means, but it is sturdy. Um, it's bulletproof. I've had no incidents other than that one tire, that one spoke blowout. Uh, the tires, they are the PR3s. Um, they are 25, 25 mil. I uh, will be looking to replace these in the near future. So I think with our partners at Cycle Center, uh, I think we'll see if we can do a review of different tires and see what we can get for that. Other than that, that is pretty much it. So don't forget, click down here if you want to see a video of the review from the glasses. Click up here if you want to see 
uh, footage from a training ride I did with Andy recently. And also, please don't forget, click on the subscribe link up here and we will be able to bring you many, many more videos. So thank you and goodbye.